Today's video is on binomial distribution and this is related to the probability distribution. Here in this video, the mean and the variance of a binomial variable x with parameters n and p are given as a 16 and 8. Now we have to find out the probability for x greater than or equal to 1 and probability of x greater than 2. See here, the mean and variance of a binomial variable x with parameters n and p are given as 16 and 8. See, in the solution, the mean of the binomial distribution is nothing but NP is given as uh, 16. And next, the variance. See here, the variance is given as NPQ as 8. Now, this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now, see here, if we divide 2 divided by 1, the second equation is nothing but NPQ is equal to 8 and the first equation NP is equal to 16. Now, if I cancel NP, then the Q value will be, so 8, in 8 table it will be half. Q is equal to half. So, after getting Q is equal to half, so what about P? As you know that the total probability is always equal to 1. That is P plus Q is equal to 1. If I substitute Q as half, that is P plus half is equal to 1. And P is equal to, this is 1 minus half. P is equal to half again. So, this is the value of P and this is the value of Q. And we have from equation 1, NP is equal to 16. From equation 1, we have N into P is equal to 16. So, this is equation number 1. So, if I substitute P as half, that is N into half is equal to 16 and N value is equal to 16 into 2 and N value is equal to this is 32. So, this is how we have to get the values of P, Q and N. So, after that, now we have to find out the probability of X greater than or equal to 1. So, for finding x greater than or equal to 1, here, what is our p value? So, p is equal to, see here, what is our p? This is half. q is equal to again half. p is equal to half, q is equal to half and n value is equal to, see here, n is equal to 32. And now, we have to calculate the first question here, find probability of x greater than or equal to 1. Probability of x greater than or equal to 1 means probability of x is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on till 32. So, instead of doing that, I am simply doing 1 minus probability of x less than 1. So, what is the value of x which is less than 1? That is probability of x is equal to 0. Now, I am going to substitute. Substitute all these values. From the binomial distribution, we have probability of x is equal to r is nothing but the formula is ncr. This is p power r and this is q power n minus r. Uh, this is q power n minus r. Now, I am going to substitute the value. So, this will be 1 minus ncr that is 32 cr p power r and again this is q power n minus r. So, this will be 1 minus. So, this value is 1. Anything to the power of 0, 1. This is 1 by 2 power 32. So, the value here is 1 minus 2 power 32 is the answer for probability of x greater than or equal to 1. And see the next question here is. The second question is. Now, we have to find out the probability for probability of x greater than 2. So, this will be probability of uh, the second question is probability of x great, not greater than or equal to. This is x greater than 2. That's it. So, which we can write as instead of doing from 2. Greater than 2 means 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on till 32 we have to solve. Instead of doing that, I am writing this as 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 2. So, this value is equal to probability of x greater than 2 is equal to this is 1 minus. This is probability of uh, x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2. Now, I am going to substitute all the values here. So, this value will be 1 minus 
x is equal to 0 that is ncr that is 32 c0 what is our p value so this is n this is p and this is q p power 0 and again this is q power this is n minus 0 for x is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 that is uh, 32 c1 p power r and this is q power that is 32 minus 1 and next one for x is equal to 2 that is 32 c2 n c r p power r q power n minus r that is 32 minus 2 that is 32 minus 2 here so if i substitute all the values and calculate now and see what happens here this will be 1 minus 32 c naught is again 1 and half power 0 is 1 so this can be written as 1 by 2 power 32 next one this is 32 this is half power 1 this is half power 1 and this is 1 by 2 power 31 and this is 32 c2 this is half square and this value is uh, power 30 half power 30 and see now this value will be 1 minus this is 1 by 2 power 32 and this is 32 into 1 by 2 power 32 32 c2 is nothing but 32 2 backward steps and 2 front steps if I cancel this in 16 so this will be 32 2 power 32 again now see here if I take 1 by 2 power 32 common this will be 1 plus 32 plus 16 into see here this is 16 into 31 I'll show you this value that is a 16 into 31 so this is 496 now if i add up all these values if i add all these values that, that will be 1 plus that is 1 plus 32 plus 496 this is 529 529 divided by 2 power 32 this is divided by 2 cap that is 32 the value here is uh, nearly equal to so still there is a continuation part here this is uh, 1 minus now i am going to multiply this with minus 1 plus 1 so the value here is a 0 point so this value is a 0 0.9999 this value is 0 0.9999 see here how i have uh, calculated this one this is 1 plus 32 plus this is uh, 496 divided by 2 power this is 32 the value is this and now we have to multiply this with minus 1 into minus 1 and there is plus 1 here plus 1 and so the value here is 0 0.999999 and so on so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching so this is uh, the mean and this is the variance if i divide two equations i will be getting the value of q and after getting q it is very easy to find out the value of p and from equation one if i substitute the value of p i got the value of n so after getting p q and n so this is the probability of x greater than or equal to one and this value is nothing but probability of uh, x greater than two so this is the second solution thank you so much and have a look at my next video too and that is also very very important